again Everybody, welcome back! Welcome back! If you guys didn't watch my last video. Savannah and I spent two days skiing in Cortina di Ampezzo, and yesterday we made the trek over to Pazza di Fassa and are staying in Moena. And now is the first day of three that we're going to be spending skiing in Pazza di Fassa and uh, the Valley di Fassa. And today we're starting our ski trip at Canizé. I don't actually know if I'm saying that right, but the only thing I know is that my buddy at work is actually named Canizé, and that's the only way I know to pronounce it, so if you guys can tell me differently, let me know. But it's a beautiful day out, beautiful views, it was a super packed house down below at the main gondola and trams. This is one of those ski resorts that starts down in the valley and you can't really see it. You have to take a tram to the top of the mountain. But once you're up here, you got all these end-to-end -end wall views and it just looks so beautiful. It's gonna be a packed day, like I said. I think one of the lifts on the far west side of the slopes are not running. It might be just because of this not good ski conditions, but either way, let's have a day. Though I try to resist, I can't fight this And no one makes me feel like you do And no one sets my body on fire And no one gives me shivers like you Oh, no one does it better How I try Pulling me closer. Oh, I've got to stay away, but you won't let me. All right, gang, after doing a couple runs, Savannah and I just stopped at this little refugio at the top of pretty much the highest peak that you can go and ski on the side of the mountain. Gonna have a cup of coffee real quick and just chill, but all in all, having a great day. <laughs> views around Canizé and the surrounding mountain areas are absolutely gorgeous. So just to be up here back in the Dolomites, it's just interesting though because we skied in Cortina and there really wasn't too many people there. Like Friday and Saturday, there wasn't that many people there at all. And I think that's two of the most popular resorts really in the Dolomites. Here at Canizé, this seems like the place to be on a Sunday. Coming up here this morning, it was just so difficult to get on the tram, but luckily the Italians are really good at herding cattle as well as they are herding people because we got onto the first tram really in like 15 minutes. First of three days back in Valle di Fossa, and I think we're starting off pretty good. Savannah and I are gonna get back on the trail for you guys, do a couple more turns. What a day. Follow the little Israel.
right gang, Savannah and I just got back to our hotel here in Moana at this beautiful spot on the southeast side of town and it pretty much just looks over the entire city of Moana. It's just a beautiful village of a town. Great shopping, great area to go and come visit. I think today's King at Canazé, we only had about a 25 minute drive from here and that's including grabbing our ski rentals and everything that was involved this morning. Overall, Canazé was a really great resort. Just beautiful views all around throughout the valley and the mountain peaks around it. I think Savannah and I are gonna get it cleaned up right now. Probably go out and enjoy a couple of drinks with her parents tonight and just enjoy Moana and all that's pretty much here to offer in this village. We still have two days of skiing here in Val de Fossa. So we're gonna enjoy it. And with this great view of the valley, we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to day two in Val di Fossa. Today, we're actually going to be skiing up at Carreza. And hope I'm saying that right. Probably not, but it sounds good. This is another really popular ski resort that kind of connects across this entire valley. And this area of the resort is on the far west side of Pazza di Fassa and Vigo di Fassa. Beautiful day once again, sun shining, really not a cloud in the sky. And the peaks around us look absolutely amazing right now. So we just got on one of the main chairlifts to go up to the top. And we're going to ski down this run right here because I think it's just the most sun exposed run as of right now. We eventually will probably go across the valley, but the sun seems to not be shining over there as much. So we're gonna try to do a couple turns over here right now. But either way, another day of skiing in Italy. Let's have us a day. riding at Carreza here on the west side of Pasa di Fassa. Savannah and I have been sticking around like the central area, but now that the sun's been more exposed to the north side of the mountain, we've made our way over to one of the gondolas over here. And it's just so impressive. Like every single gondola that goes up to the base of these mountains, it's just crazy. And then when you look on top, of some of these peaks, there's even like refugios at the top. You just look at these and you're thinking, how on earth do people get these things up there and how do you even get to them in general? Absolutely crazy, but the views up here are unbelievable. We're gonna get back out there, get back on the trails, gonna keep exploring for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, tell a man no trouble. I don't want beef, man, I just want vibes. Big man like me, no need for the telephone hype I got too much getting online One rule, then dead I'm on sight Wrong move, I bet they gon' ride No need for the telephone hype, nah No need for the snoozing Big whip outside, I'm cruising Big stick inside, no losing Better watch out for the snake and Judas's Don't ask them who this is I bet they know what I'm moving in I bet I show it into a dim How you hate and then lose again? How you hating my vibes? Why you wasting my time? Getting hype on my line Tell a man I don't want feedback, I just want relax Brand new whip, two-tone, I need that brand new hit You know like lean back, brand new bits I live in Alright gang, Savan and I just wrapped up skiing at Carreza It was awesome, it was like a really good time A lot of really good views and a lot of really good runs And I think the one thing that set this ski resort apart from any other one that we went to this week Was on this refugio called Lauren's Lounge and from there, you got like these views from all different angles, all the way to the west to like towards Bolzano and the north and the south. And there was just mountain views pretty much all around you, which 
made the trip there just worth it in itself and it was an amazing time. Savannah and I hung out there for a while, had an Aperol spritz and a cappuccino before heading back down to ski a few more laps and kind of hanging up the day. Tomorrow is gonna be our last of five days or three days in Val de Fossa skiing. Cannot wait till tomorrow, so tune in. We'll see you guys in the morning. Memories filling up my mind and I can't seem to push him back. This time's ingrained my mind and I just can let it go. How did I lose the way through the things that really matter? This complication spin my mind, but I Alright, good morning everybody. Good morning. Savan and I are just starting off on day five of skiing in Italy and day three of skiing in Val di Passa. Starting this morning at, I believe it's called Ski Area Bufare. Beautiful views up top. The vistas from around here are just out of this world. But that's been the case for the last couple days of skiing up here. It's like even though the snow isn't that good this year, The views are just out of this world. Today is also Valentine's Day. Savan got me a nice little card. And we're at the center village down below. I didn't get her one, but thank God I'm taking her to a spa. Aww. Very nice. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. First Valentine's together, guys, a married couple. Pretty cool way to spend it here in Italy, in the Dolomites with her. And I didn't know it, but man, Italy is huge on Valentine's Day. They have so many different restaurants and just decor all around town that kind of show off how much they celebrate Valentine's Day here. And I thought the US was really big on Valentine's Day, but I don't think they can touch Italy for how much they care about it here. Maybe since it's Valentine's Day, people want to take their loved ones out and just enjoy the day. But either way, guys, let's have a day. I can get it, I can make it, yeah, I know it, and I'm never looking back again. Savannah and I have been spending most of the morning on the Bufere and I believe it's called the Chompec ski areas. But what's so cool about Italy and pretty much Europe in general is they don't have like a specific ski resort like back in Colorado or the US where once you go and scan your pass for the day, you pretty much have to obey the ski resort and stay in that one area. Whereas over here, you can pretty much scan your pass and you can go to as many ski areas as possible pretty much within a day. And that one whole day of skiing in all these ski areas just counts as one day. We're back actually at the Belvedere ski area and the Canizé ski area that we were at on the first day of skiing in Val di Fossa. So we're gonna stick over here for a little bit and then probably make our way back. But for right now, just gonna enjoy these views as always. It's a beautiful day, sun shining, Valentine's Day. Let's keep enjoying it, you guys. Again. Good, well, afternoon. I haven't said that in a while. Good afternoon, everybody. Savannah and I just ended what was an amazing five days of skiing here in the Dolomites. So we're heading over to what is our favorite spa in pretty much the entire world. We've been to this location three different times and we've actually been to the one in Chamonix twice. And out of the both we've been to, this is our favorite one, just for the surrounding areas and basically everything that the spa has to offer. And besides being on vacation, it is Valentine's Day. So we're gonna go here Get a little pampered, enjoy the day with Savan's parents. Just soak it all in. Cannot wait to get back inside.
everybody. Well, after last night's stay at QC Terme, relaxing and enjoying all the time here in the Dolomites, the last three days in Val di Fossa, I think it's safe to say that Savannah and I had an absolutely amazing time here. Being in the Dolomites, skiing here just gave us a whole new perspective of just how beautiful this whole area is. Sadly, this marks the end of our stay in the Dolomites here, but it is not the end. It is not goodbye. It is just see you till next time. In total, we skied at over eight different ski areas in the last five days from Cortina all the way to Val di Fossa. And this is just an area of the world, you guys, that if you ski and you enjoy your time on skis, you have to come visit. Right now, Savannah, her parents and I are actually loading up the cars and gonna be driving the three hours to Venice. And I think I'm gonna put the camera away and just enjoy all the time that we have together. I just wanna thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope this video helped you guys out if you're planning on coming to the Dolomites or skiing here anytime soon. So I wanna thank you guys so much again for watching. Hope to see you in a boot. We'll see you guys in the next one.